Batman. Battle in the Batcave. Written by Donald Lemke. On a cold winter night, an explosion shakes the streets of downtown Gotham City. Within moments, police cars flood the scene with their red and blue lights. Commissioner James Gordon and several other officers quickly exit their vehicles. Near a burning building stands a large, masked figure. Freeze! The flames grow brighter, and the man steps closer. But things are just heating up, Commissioner. Suddenly, from high above the city, Batman swoops to the ground on his bat rope. He lands in front of his worst enemy. Oh, Bane. You remember me, Batman. Unfortunately, you will soon be forgotten. Bane leaps at the Dark Knight with all his might. The hero easily dodges the hulking brute using his expert martial arts skills. Batman snatches a bola from his utility belt. He twirls the weapon above his head and then flings it at Bane. The rope twists around the villain's ankles, sending him to the ground with a loud thud. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. A thick cloud of smoke fills the air. Batman is blinded. When the smoke clears, the cover of an open manhole rests on the street in front of him. Bane is gone. Days later, Batman sits inside the Batcave. The top secret hideout is hidden deep below Bruce Wayne's mansion. It contains hundreds of gadgets and weapons, as well as Batman's collection of crime-fighting evidence. The Dark Knight stares at a map on the Bat computer. Bane couldn't have gotten far. The sewer pipes are dead ends, except for the one leading here. I call this a dead end as well. At least for one of us. The hero turns and spots Bane on the other side of the Bat Cave. How did you find this place? A few days in the dark and you learn to follow your instincts. Like a bat, I suppose. The cave only has room for one. How about we flip for it? With unmatched strength, Bane lifts Batman's giant penny into the air. He hurls the two-ton coin at the hero. The Dark Knight avoids the giant penny, and it crashes into a glass display case. The weapons of a dozen criminals spill onto the floor. Bane grabs the penguin's umbrella off the ground. He presses a button on the handle, and a fireball explodes from the high-tech weapon. Batman blocks the flame with his fireproof cape. Then he flings a batarang at the villain, who swats away the metal weapon like a moth. Bane tosses the umbrella aside and picks up a question mark cane. The weapon once belonged to Gotham's cleverest crook, the Riddler. Riddle me this. How did the bat feel when he lost his cave? Shot. He fires an electric bolt at Batman. The bolt strikes the hero. Electricity jolts through his body, stunning him. Then Bane grabs another weapon from the floor. The Joker's mallet. Looks like I'll have the last laugh today. The villain swings the mallet at Batman. The dazed superhero dodges the blow. Bane swings and misses, again and again. Strike three! On the other side of the Batcave stands Robin, Batman's teenage sidekick. He holds Mr. Freeze's ray gun. Bane lowers the mallet and turns to Robin. Where are your manners, boy wonder? Don't you know better than to interrupt grown-ups? For a cold-blooded crook, you're a real hothead. Time to chill out. The boy wonder raises the freeze gun and fires an icy blast at the supervillain. In an instant, Bane freezes into a solid block of ice. Batman thanks his young partner. 
You never were an early bird. You're right, Batman, but I always catch the crook. Later at Arkham Asylum, the dynamic duo meets with James Gordon. Great work, you two. Bane doesn't remember a thing, but he'll have plenty of time to think in here. Sounds like a bad case of brain freeze, if you ask me. The Batcave's location is secret, once again, 